y'all what is up and welcome back to my channel for a speed build so it's been a hot minute since i've done a speed build and actually i had planned this specific speed build to go up way sooner than uh, i'm getting it out but i had some complications doing a voiceover because this house build is so huge it took me a hot minute to edit it and then you know it ended up being you know like a 25 plus you know minute long voiceover i was you know having to prepare for which if you know me i absolutely despise doing voiceovers for speed builds love doing speed builds but i butcher voiceovers so bad it's just it's really hard so i typically don't like to build huge houses like this just for the purpose that what am I going to talk about for 25 minutes <laughs> you feel me so uh I don't know I, I do like building bigger houses though just because they're a challenge and then if they turn out you know how I imagine them in my head then I'm very proud of them and I feel very accomplished and this is one of those instances where I love this house <laughs> and I'm very proud of it uh, but, you know, this voiceover, I apologize in advance. I'm going to try my hardest not to just, like, ramble on with the relevant stuff that y'all don't care about. But, you know me, I probably will. Because I can't talk about the build for 25 minutes. I just, I can't. We know that already. It's old news. But anyways, y'all, a little bit about this build. Let me just try, okay? Why not? Alright, so this house is massive. Um, I like to build big family homes it's just because i like to play with family the whole family aspect in the sims 4 i like to have big family so you know why not have a big family home this house is goals i mean this family has it going on <laughs> it's like very fancy in a sense that you on the outside you can tell this this family's got money they are not struggling not one bit but my favorite thing about having big houses like this is that when you go inside it feels very cozy and homey and welcoming. It's not so fancy that, oh my god, I can't sit down or, you know, touch something. I'm scared I'm going to mess it up or break it. I wanted it to come off very homey. And I think I did that. So hopefully you guys will agree with me. But yeah, if I was a sim kid or a sim teen, I would be friends with whoever lives in this house. Because this house is just like the perfect little hangout you know spot you know they have a very nice backyard area with a pool you know they have really nice bedrooms with lots of toys lots of decorations stuff like that and then they have a game room type workout room space because i've mentioned this before i'm not a pro builder to say the least <laughs> here on the sims uh i'm I think I've gotten a lot better and I you know I do kind of brag I feel like on my builds all the time like oh my god I think it turned out so great but that's because I've come a long way a lot of practice and a lot of you know watching speed builds and getting inspiration and learning from other builders but those builders I think they just have a very special creativity and like talent to where they can just freehand what they are imagining in their head I can't do that. I've tried it, and y'all don't even want to see how it turned out. It was bad, okay? So I have to follow a house plan. That's just the safest, easiest bet for me. So pro tip, I go on Pinterest, and I have a whole board for my Sims 4 house builds or speed builds and, like, floor plans to follow. It's just a lot easier for me that way. Um, it's not too much of a struggle. But anyways, we know that most houses these days have garages, right? I mean, at least where I live, there's a lot of garages, and most house plans that I can find have a garage. <laughs> and so, to have the exterior of the, you know, the plan I'm following, it looks like there's a garage. But in The Sims 4, we don't have cars, right? So <laughs> I had to make use of that space, which you can obviously probably notice. You know what I'm talking about? It kind of looks like a garage, but it's kind of been converted to a game room instead. So that was kind of what I was going for. But you know what? Just throwing this out here i would love one day to see cars in the sims 4 and i know a lot of people don't see it happening just because it has been confirmed that we will never see an open world in the sims 4 but you know what you don't need an open world to have cars i mean just look at the sims 2 for example we had cars in the sims 2 they sat in the driveway you could sit in the car you actually went and got in the car and backed out the driveway and rode down the road <laughs> you know when your sims went anywhere and then it went to the loading screen the loading screen does not bother me like it bothers some people. I don't mind not having an open world. I actually prefer to not have an open world 
just because with The Sims 3, it tends to get a little bit laggy, you know, just because the world is so big and I guess it's just trying to process everything. So it doesn't bother me, but I would love to see an update. I think it should be free. <laughs> I mean, I try not to complain too much or demand too much of, you know, The Sims and Max just because you know what, or EA, because I love them. I think they've done a great job. I love The Sims, but I think that if they were to give us cars, it should be free. I would definitely pay for it, <laughs> but I think it should be free because I don't, I mean, I don't see why not, you know, something kind of like toddlers that we didn't have originally that it's kind of like, where the heck are the toddlers? And then we got it in an update for free. It's kind of like, where the heck are cars, you know? I mean, why not? Why can't we just have a car to sit in a garage or in our driveway? Even if it's just for looks, I could care less. I don't want to use custom content. I want something that, you know, is Max's match. So, that's my take on that. That's my little rant about cars. I completely got off topic. I was trying to explain my build here, but as you can see, I just, I can't stay on track with anything. But anyways, y'all, this house is, oh my gosh, it's really expensive. It's almost 200 thousand simoleons so it's definitely on the pricier side um but you know you, I, I had to do what i had to do to make it you know <laughs> um fit the the personality that i had going for it and like i said this house looks very fancy on the outside and following the floor plan there was actually it's was supposed to be like a parlor i don't even know what a parlor parlor is we don't, I don't think we have those in the South. <laughs> um, I don't, maybe I don't have rich enough friends, but I, I mean, I know what a parlor is. It's kind of like a sitting, fancy sitting area. And so I didn't want this house to be super duper duper fancy, you know? Um, so I made the parlor area, as you, you can see, um, kind of just like a little entryway where they have the coat rack, a chest table, a little bay area, sitting window, just a little entryway. I thought that was, you know, homey and cute. And then also the spare bedroom downstairs was originally in the floor plan supposed to have been like a library, which, you know, kind of was eh, too fancy for me. You know, that just wasn't what I was going for with this, you know, home. So I converted it into a spare bedroom. You know, why not? Or it can just be a bedroom. <laughs> but, you know, I just figured most houses, um, you know, rich families, they, they kind of have like a guest bedroom for like family that comes out of town or just, you know, if you want to have your Sims, you know, invite somebody over, there's an extra bed, you know, why not? So, yep, that's what I did. And then upstairs, there is four bedrooms. So this is a five bedroom house. So like I said, it's super big, super massive. But I think my favorite part about this house is um the little greenhouse area out in the back um but i was going for like a greenhouse at first you know i was going to put plants in there but then i got inspired to make it just like a little sitting area overlooking the backyard because their backyard is beautiful it's got a big pool um you know a swing and everything a big tree in the backyard just think it's so pretty and i really wanted you know to have an area for them to you know look out and there's the ceiling fan that's you know spinning over then that animation is so cute and then i put you know, a few plants out there, but it's not the plants that you have to, like, keep up and water. It's, like, decoration plants. And, um, then, you know, the little lemonade, you know, serving thing. I thought that was really cute, a cute idea. So, that's my favorite part of the house. But anyways, guys, ugh, I'm done talking about the house. It's been almost 10 minutes, and I feel like I'm boring you, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyways, now it's, like, on to what can we talk about. But I think I know what I want to talk about because there has been a lot of speculation on what is coming to The Sims 4. Um, I believe I've seen today that um, SimGuru Kate, um, our community manager, tweeted that we will have some kind of free update um, you know, patch with content, new content in October. I have no idea what that could be. Honestly, I don't even want to speculate or guess. I, I'm at a loss. I have no idea. But then I also know that there is either, I don't know if it's going to be a game pack, an expansion pack, or a stuff pack, but another addition to the game before the end of the calendar year. I honestly don't see it being another expansion pack. I would love for it to be university because that's the only thing that I really want badly in The Sims 4 to complete 
the game. You know, I wanted seasons for a long time, just like, you know, we all did. And then now it's like, okay, we got seasons, we got cats and dogs. Now we just need university. We have those in every generation of the game. So we know we're going to get it. It's just a matter of when. And since seasons was such a big expansion pack and it just came out um, not too long ago, a couple months ago, right? Yeah, I just, I don't see how they would have another expansion pack out so quick. So I think maybe next year um, we would have university. Hopefully it's our next expansion, but maybe like a game pack. I know some people are saying maybe supernatural, something along that line, which would be really, really cool. Um, speaking of that, if you have not checked out my Sims 3 Supernatural LP, go check that out. Um, I think it's just going to be a little mini LP. Um, I'm not going to carry it on too too long, make it like a, a super long LP. I think it's just going to be mini series for, you know, the purpose of fall and, you know, spooky time or whatever. But anyways, yeah, I think that'd be something really cool to see in The Sims 4 because honestly, in The Sims 3, I didn't really play much with Supernatural until now. And I think it's really cool. I think it's really fun. Um, so, I, yeah, I think I'd like to see that. Just to see how different it is and what new content and, you know, interactions that come within The Sims 4. Because I think that The Sims 4 is, hands down, my favorite <laughs> um, generation of The Sims, which some people disagree. I see a lot of people say that it's boring and it gets, you know, there's not enough stuff. But I don't know. It's my favorite. Now, don't get me wrong. The Sims 2 is my OG, but I love The Sims 4. I think The Sims 3 is my least favorite. I know. Truth bomb. <laughs> some people are going to be like, I cannot believe you would say The Sims 3 is your least favorite. Why? We have open rail. We have cars. There's so much to do. I don't know. I think it's just because it's so laggy sometimes. I honestly think compared to The Sims 4, The Sims are unattractive. I just, I think it's the graphics in The Sims 4 that I love so much. I actually really enjoy the cartoony look of The Sims 4. I don't get bored with it because I like the emotions that come with The Sims and how it's more spontaneous that way. You know, as far as me doing my storytelling, I've had so many plans in my head of what I want to happen and then my Sims completely have like these emotions that trigger certain things and completely change the storyline for me. I think that's something unique to The Sims 4. So, personally, I like The Sims 4 and I think that with each you know expansion pack that we get from previous generations when you compare it I think they get better they add new stuff that we've never seen before which is really cool um, I don't know I just don't think it's fair I've said this multiple times but I don't think it's fair to really compare you know the Sims 2 Sims 3 and Sims 4 because you know technology advances things get better and you know, we already know that they're, you know, working on The Sims 5, which I don't think, you know, I think we have a few more years, maybe two or two years at the most, two or three years maybe, I don't know, of when the next, you know, generation of the game will come out. Um, I think it would be really cool to, honestly, I, I would see them bringing back Open World. I honestly, I know. I can't believe I'm saying this either, but I don't think I would want open world again just because I would hate for it to just like cause problems and a lot of lagging, you know, because I feel like in The Sims 3, in order to play it to its full potential and have like the amazing graphics and stuff, you have to have a good computer to run it. Um, because I couldn't even run it on any of my other computers, like, like, settings high and having all the mods that I had, it would just crash. And I don't want that for The Sims 5, if that was, you know, a possibility. I wouldn't mind it being kind of like The Sims 4, but maybe, you know, more realistic. Instead of cartoony, maybe going with something more realistic, um, kind of like... Uh, alpha CC, but that just being the Maxis match version. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Probably don't even make sense. But that's just my thoughts on, you know, the Sims franchise and what's going on at the moment. I know that also they were considering um, talking about adding disabilities to the game, which I think would be really cool. But at the same time, um, I think that it should be an option to, you know, that you opt in and out of um, because, I know a lot of people are disagree with it being a good idea, saying that, you know, they might be abused, um, and some aren't, you know, as m severe as others, but as far as, like, storytelling purposes, um, I think it'd be really cool, um, you know, and there are people with disabilities, and it'd be really cool to, like, see them represented in the Sims game, so, I don't know, 
Uh, I think it'd be really cool, something that we've never seen before, but I do agree that we should have the ability to opt in and out of it. Um, kind of like with Supernatural and The Sims 3, you can opt out of, you know, playing with the Supernatural beings or whatever. Also, another thing that I would like to see in The Sims 4, after university, I would like to see um, kind of like a celebrity pack or like fame and fortune kind of that you know what came with the sims 3 i think it was late night isn't that what it's called i don't know but we know we had the celebrity features which honestly the celebrity features annoyed the heck out of me in the sims 3 because the paparazzi was everywhere and it was annoying my sims was like level one celebrity and then they was being followed around by these annoying ass freaking paparazzi taking pictures and i'm like why are you so obsessed with me you know <laughs> and i know you can opt out of that too but Anyways, I just think that'd be really cool um, to have your Sims, you know, go on tour, like be, you know, in the music industry and, you know, go on tour and be famous that way or, you know, maybe be actors and actresses, um, you know, models, things like that. That'd be really cool, a new aspect, but, you know, like I said, The Sims 4, they would, I feel like they would bring a whole new twist to it, um, something that we've never seen in the past, which I'd be excited to see that. Um, but yeah, mostly I'm just, I'm enjoying it. Honestly, <laughs> I really am. I'm enjoying The Sims 4. You know, Seasons was a game changer and only thing that I really want to complete the game for me is university. I'm dying for university now. Like, I cannot wait to see what it's going to be like in The Sims 4. But I don't know, I'm just enjoying, you know, playing The Sims 4 in my spare time, uh, my current household, and then, of course, my Seasons Let's Play. Um, and then it's good for me to, you know, have my Let's Plays on The Sims 2 and then The Sims 3. It kind of switches it up and gives me, like, a variety so, you know, I'm not getting too bored. But anyways, yeah, if you, you know, agree with anything I said about The Sims 4, what you'd like to see, what are your predictions on what is coming to the franchise, leave them down below let's talk about it um also if you have not entered my giveaway yet um do that if you have hey it's almost over we got like a week left and i will be announcing the winner so if you are watching this and you have not entered i'm gonna tell you how to do it it's mostly going to be through twitter because i tried to like upload a video on youtube but it got flagged and it was removed because apparently i just did a giveaway a couple months ago for seasons and it was like no you're spamming people and you're just trying to get followers so they flagged me so i was like fine <laughs> i'm just gonna make it for twitter so if you have a twitter then go follow me all of that you know information is linked down below give me a follow retweet the um giveaway it's pinned at the top of my profile uh retweet that and then subscribe to me on you know youtube and you will get additional entries if you like continue to support my channel and comment and interact with my videos that i post leading up to the end of the giveaway um but i do ask that if you have a different name that's unrecognizable on twitter versus um youtube you know dm me and say hey i'm so and so on twitter or comment down below hey my twitter is so and so so i'm like oh, okay yeah i know who you are you know because sometimes your name will be different and i'm like I don't know who is really subscribed and who's not, if that makes sense. So really it's all going to be based off of like Twitter and stuff like that. And who's really like commenting on the videos. Because obviously not because I'm picking them. I'm doing it fair. I'm just going to you know, enter everybody as many entries that they have. And just pull it that way. But obviously if you're interacting on the channel and you're commenting. You're going to get additional entries. So you have a greater chance of winning. So yeah. Anyways. If you aren't familiar with it. It is basically a choice of any sims 4 expansion pack any sims 4 game pack any sims 4 stuff pack that your little heart desires um and there will be two winners so anything that you're missing to complete your little collection of the sims 4 just let me know and um yeah you might you might win and that'd be really cool i don't know i like doing giveaways because you know i like to give back to my subscribers and to the community because I love the Sims community so freaking much. <laughs> and I've said this so many times before, but I don't have any friends, any friends in real life that play the Sims or understand my love for the Sims. They think I'm a nerd. They're like, oh my God, you're playing Big Girl Barbies. It looks like Big Girl Barbies. And it does. But <laughs> it's fun and you don't get it. You know, I've been playing it since I was 
10 or younger. I don't even remember. A long time. I've been playing it since The Sims 1. I didn't know what the heck I was doing when I was playing in The Sims 1, but I did have The Sims 1. I, I tried to play it. I remember Bob and Betty Newby. Yeah, I was there. That was me. So don't hate, okay? Appreci I just appreciate this game and it allows me to be creative and then there's other people who are passionate about it too and it's just really cool you know having this close-knit community on youtube and twitter and you know we're just all little simmer nerds so i do like to do giveaways every now and then just to give back to my subscribers and give others an opportunity to win because i know how it is sometimes you know when you're younger maybe your parents are like nope you gotta you gotta buy it with your own money you gotta wait until christmas wait until your birthday i've been there done that so i just want to give you another opportunity to you know win you know whatever stuff pack expansion pack whatever pack that you want i know how expensive they can be as well so yeah anyways expect another giveaway possibly with the next big expansion pack that we give i kind of want to lay low on the giveaways after this one that way i can do a proper video on youtube and won't get flagged because i'm spamming y'all with giveaways so we'll see but yeah stay tuned for that um i don't know what else is there to talk about y'all this is a long speed build usually i try to I like my speed builds to be 15 to 20 minutes. This is like 20, almost 26, 27. I can't really see it from here. Um, it was pretty long. And it's hard to talk this long. It's like, what am I going to talk about now? But I figured, you know, that I would just discuss, you know, The Sims 4 and what's coming and what's speculated to come. But anyways, y'all, um... Honestly, I'm, I'm out of things to talk about. I'm slap out. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and just, like, put some music in here so I'm not, like, killing y'all with my um, ums, ums. I don't, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. This house will be available for download on the gallery. So, if you like it, be sure to download it. Uh, it does not include any custom content my origin id is in the description down below give it a big thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you have not be sure to leave your comments down below with your speculations and predictions for what's coming to the sims 4 they're teasing us i want to know what you think uh and yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this part up now like right here so thank you guys for watching and i will talk to y'all later don't wanna wake up, I might be dreaming I might be dreaming You're stirring things up, my heart is beating My heart is beating I won't let go, I can't say no My heart is yours, so I say here we go You do that something to me, you do that something to me
dreaming You're stirring things up, my heart is beating Oh So I say here we go